So I think for 2017, what I have tasted today, uh, compared to last year, the 16 vintage, I found the wines a bit more closed, a bit more robust for now, but I think they will taste amazing in a few years. And I would say probably they will be, uh, they remind me a lot like 2012 in terms of vintage. And many journalists have said that it was not crazy vintage or so on, but I kind of disagree. Like if you take, for example, Saint-Julien and Poyac, um, it's very good. And yesterday also we tried some whites from the Grave uh, area and it's very, very beautiful wines. Uh, it's a lot of diversity, but a lot of estates have excelled in doing amazing stuff. Yeah, so if I would take a few uh, highlights, probably it would be maybe uh, Chateau Palmer, um, then maybe uh, Chateau Clermillon and as pretty often really stand out for me is uh, Chateau Ponte Canet. I think it's a, a bit special these days as uh, most of young consumers don't really know anymore what is un primeur unless they're wine geeks and very little people nowadays have proper cellar at home so they're most open nowadays to um, buy wines that are ready to drink and have no problem to pay the right price for it and uh, in the other hand you still have the generation which uh, love the Premier system which is very good to buy a very nice selection of uh, wines that will be delivered so in the coming years and through Millesima, I know that you can uh, even have alerts on your cell phone or by email when a wine is released, which is very uh, practical for all the wine geeks. And this allows, the Humprimer basically allows uh, all these people to have very good value for money wines that when they will be delivered most of the time, the value increase pretty much because of the market uh, demand.